Hi. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about using probabilities in a real context. Okay? So for example, a quarterback completes 70, 70 out of 110 passes. Okay? So first, what percent are complete? Well, 70 out of 110, the probability is 70 out of 110. Right? So we know that we can turn that into a percentage just by doing 70 divided by 110 and then times 100 on my calculator, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 70 divided by 110 times 100, and that's our answer, 63%. Okay? So 63% are completions, okay? If he throws 32 passes next game, how many can he expect to complete? Okay. Well, this says that 63% will be complete. So what we need to do is we need to figure out 63% of 32. Right? So we do that by going 63%, so divided by 100, of, which is times 32. Okay? So on our calculator, we do 63 divided by 100 times 32 and we get 20 passes, okay? So that means that next game, if he keeps that percentage up, he can expect to complete 20 passes. Of course, that's just a prediction, right? It depends on how good the defense is that he's playing. It depends if he's having an off day, maybe it's windy, right? So all these probabilities are just predictions that then have different um, effects on them. Okay, so weather, who he's playing, is his receiver playing well, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's look at an, another example. So the forecast says that the next three days have a 50% chance of rain. Three days went by, and Monday there was no rain, Tuesday there's rain, Wednesday there's rain. What's the experimental probability of rain? Well, the exper experimental probability of rain, it rained twice, and there's a total of three days. So that means the experimental probability of rain was two out of three. Or if we do that on our calculator, two divided by three times 100, we get 67%, right? So why was it not 50%, right? Because the guy predicted 50%, okay? And it was actually 67%. Well, again, he they use equipment that allow them to predict based on what's happened in the past. So it's based on experimental probability. Right? And remember we said that experimental probability is always an estimate. Okay? So why is it not 50%? It's because his was based on experimental probability, and experimental probability is always an estimate. It's never going to be exact. And even if we do know exactly what's going to happen, if, even if we do the, know the exact theoretical probability, it doesn't always work out that way because maybe winds came in from one side, maybe something else happened, maybe it was more humid. So the weather isn't always going to follow perfectly what the prediction was. Okay? So that's it for using probability. Now we can get to work.